Today, we're diving into the ongoing conflict between Russia and Ukraine, and specifically, a recent incident involving the 76 Guards Air Assault Group. Don't forget to hit that like button if you find this analysis helpful, and subscribe for more insights every week. A little background information. In a recent clash, Ukrainian forces decisively defeated a group of Russian forces from the 76 Guards Air Assault, an elite unit within the Russian military. Known for their superior training and equipment, the 76 Guards were surprisingly operating with outdated T-55 tanks, a model from the early 1950s. Background of T-55 tanks. Why were these elite troops using such outdated tanks well, despite being heavily armored and requiring a crew of four, these tanks are slow and lack the firepower of modern tanks. It's a sign that Russia is dipping into its deepest reserves as their newer tanks are either destroyed or out of service. The bigger picture here is, this situation reflects a larger problem for Russia. They began the war with around 12,000 tanks, but now they're forced to refurbish older models due to losses. Refurbishing older tanks like the T-55s is simpler because they don't have the complex electronics found in newer models, which degrade over time and are harder to restore. Human cost and drafting issues. The conflict has taken a massive toll on Russian manpower, with estimates of up to 750,000 soldiers killed or incapacitated. Russia faces a critical shortage of trained personnel. This has led to a silent draft pulling in tens of thousands monthly to sustain the war effort. What's the long-term outlook? Despite these efforts, Russia's resources are not infinite. They started with about 8 million men in their 20s available for military service. With casualties and immigrations, that number is dwindling. At the current rate, Russia might sustain its military efforts for another five to eight years before running out of both men and military equipment. So the conclusion is, so what does this mean for the future? While Ukraine faces immense challenges, Russia's ability to continue its military campaigns is also severely compromised. Political and economic factors, both within Russia and internationally, will play a crucial role in shaping the outcome of this conflict. Thanks for watching. What do you think about Russia's strategic position? Let us know in the comments below. Remember to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things related to military strategy and global conflicts. See you in the next video.